I'm Paul Hedges, um, and I'm a scholar of interreligious studies. Um, and basically, interreligious studies is about the way that people of different religions, but also of no religion, um, meet in dynamic encounters um, in societies um, and across the world today. Um, it may seem that religion is perhaps sort of a uh, subject that isn't so significant. And certainly during the 20th century, some people predicted that the world had become secularized, that religion was becoming less significant, or was even dying out. Um, but at the end of the 20th century and into the 21st century, it's become clear that religion is at the forefront of many geopolitical movements around the world. It's part of the motivating factor of most people um, in all parts of our globe. And it's so important, if you like, for the polit politics uh, that we see around us, for the way society is shaped, um, and for the culture that people live in, that it is something that has to be studied as any sort of part of the understanding um, of today's society. Um, I've got a few research projects that come out of this, and one thing that particularly interests me um, is tradition. And people often assume that religions um, basically be very traditional, they do what they've always done. Um, but this is very rarely the case. Um, tradition is something which is always changing. As it is passed on, as it is practiced, as it is developed, it's always a living and changing sort of part of people's lives. Um, and one of my research projects is looking at religious leaders in Singapore at the moment and understanding their attitudes um, towards other religions and also towards religious diversity. Now, Singapore, of course, um, understands itself as having sort of lived peacefully for 50 years um, in an attitude of tolerance. But it's far from certain that this will sort of continue, and particularly with sort of global movements affecting what is happening here um, and changes in society, it's very important to understand the way that different traditions are thinking about how they relate to sort of other people outside, um, and also how they relate, um, if you like, to the broad sort of culture um, which surrounds them. And so the changing dynamics of this um, are a very significant um, aspect of, of looking at sort of life today. Um, other parts of my research look at what is called um, hermeneutics. It's a branch of philosophy um, that looks at theories of interpretation. Um, and this is, again, useful for looking at the changing aspects of tradition. So for instance, religions like Christianity which developed in Europe in a particular sort of context. Um, its early doctrine developed in the Roman Empire um, in relation to Greek philosophy, which many Asian Christians have argued for centuries is not particularly relevant for them. And they want to sort of understand it in new ways. So how to understand um, this, this change in tradition, how to make sense of the fact that what people do today is not the same as the way that something was practiced or understood um, in the past, and hermeneutics provides a good um, lens for examining this.